two uploads in two days. You guys are getting treated. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Road to Apex Legends mobile video, episode two. Yes, in this as you guys know the switch got released today and me and imo are going to be showing you basically mobile gameplay because if you didn't know the switch and the mobile have very very similar cpus so what you're going to see in this video today is basically what we're going to get on the mobile device but before we go ahead i think it's meme time let's go what is Okay, so we are back again. The, well, what are we? We're just like a crazy duo right here. Myself, Pretty IMO, much. and Rose Smith on the other camera right there. So, uh, welcome back to episode two of Road to Apex Legends Mobile. And today's episode, take it away, Smithy. Today, we are going to be talking about what we think the gameplay and graphics look like compared to the Switch version. So, yes, before any of you guys comment down below saying... This is Nintendo Switch gameplay, yes, but let's explain why we're showing it to you. Take it away. So we're showing you guys this because the Switch is technically a mobile device and we've done some heavy research into the systematics and the requirements of each device. So starting it straight off guys, a mobile device, okay, most common run a Snapdragon processor graphics chip, okay? So let's just go with the latest one. The latest one is a Snapdragon uh, 808. On screen right now, what you can see, that runs two times Cortex A57s at a two gigahertz and four times Cortex A55s at a 1.4 gigahertz. Don't panic if that sounds complete gibberish to you. All you need to know is, Rose, take it away. The Switch CPU contains four ARM Cortex A57 cores, which, does that sound familiar? A57? It it's the same as mobile. Exactly the same. But to put you guys' minds at rest, okay, because I know we just spoke about the Snapdragon 808, which is the newest one. It doesn't matter because the Nintendo Switch needs to perform multiple processors. On a phone, you can customize it to run only one processor. So less of your graphical performance is being used, which means one thing, better graphics to what you're about to witness in the videos that we're about to show you and better performance than what you're about to witness in the Nintendo gameplay. So, without further ado, let's roll the first clip. Enjoy. Let's do it. Bangalore is, is um, I would say, an easier character to play. She has a passive ability that, that just happens automatically, so you don't have to remember to use it. Mm. And, and it's called double time. So when somebody is shooting at you, you actually get an increased movement speed bonus. And it just, like I said, just happens. So you're in a you're in a gunfight. Someone's shooting at you. Now you're just moving faster. You don't have to think to push a button. So that's really great. Another good. Right, one. Smith. How did you find that first part there with Bangalore? Boys, just look <laughs> at the smoothness and the graphics. And I just want to go over. That is actually the King's Canyon map, which is the first map in Apex Legends PC and console, which you can expect to see in the mobile version. We could get the others, but I just want to go over, again, the smoothness and the graphics. Very, very mobile. Like you can see from the buildings, just from the movement of Bangalore as well. And does that tank look very mobile-like as well to you, buddy? Well, to be fair, that is one thing I wanted to point out in that whole clip. So let's just put a quick, uh, you know, snapshot of the tank there about what was in the trailer. Take a look at it. That is mobile graphics for you right there. And if that's Nintendo graphics, what is it going to look like on our phones? Ugh. Especially iPads as well. Is this going to support iOS? That That's what I want to know. Is it going to support tablets? That's what I want to know as well. I mean, it, they'd, be, they'd be wrong not to, right? <laughs> let's say if it runs for the Switch, it might run, but let's say that one for another video. So mm -hmm. we're going to run another clip for you now, and that is going to be an Octane clip. So check this one out. Let's go. Octane. Um, Octane actually regens some health automatically over time. So if you're a new player, you're forgetting to use your health packs and things like that, and you're frantic, you're just healing over time, which is great. Um, also, it's a lot of fun to throw down a jump pad, you know, 
bounce up to a rooftop or launch your teammates, you know, whatever. So guys, I mean, just look at that. I mean, that, that map you can see there is Olympus, which is the third map that was added into Apex Legends PC and console. And I just want to point out the sort of grass and the tree texture in that sort of clip. It's, if you, again, if you guys have played Call of Duty Mobile and PUBG Mobile, they look exactly the same as that. So you can definitely expect those sort of textures in the mobile version compared to the Switch. A absolutely. I'm just going to exactly repeat what Will Smith just said there. Just take, like, here's a, here's an image right here. Take a look at it. Grass. The, the Just look at the grass and trees, right? That looks like Call of Duty Battle Royale or PUBG Battle Royale. But, in fact, it looks a little bit better. Probably because technology has advanced since those games have been released. So, are we going to be getting something that runs better, looks better, and just, it plays better? Well, let's, let's hope so, because me and Rose Smith are going to take you on the journey with us, believe us. We'll have Anyways. to wait and see, but yeah, guys, check this next clip out. It's, uh, we're going to be talking about the player movement. Check this Whoa. out. Here we go. I'll move on to Gibraltar, another great beginner character. Again, the passive ability just happens automatically. Gibraltar has an arm shield, so when you're ADSing uh, your, your various guns, you actually have a shield that pops up on your arm and gives you some added protection against uh, incoming fire. Um, and it's just, it's an automatic thing. So maybe you'll stay alive a little bit longer with that added protection. So guys, from that clip, as you can see, a lot of you guys will be wondering, I mean, Apex PC and console is very fast paced. It's a very fast paced battle royale. So I'm wondering what the sort of movement and the play of movement is going to be like. And as you can see from here, the sliding is very simple. I don't know what it's going to be like using sort of a HUD and a touchpad, but as you can see here, very, very smooth, very streamlined as well. Even sort of ADS and down the scope like Gibraltar did just there. It's going to look very good and it's going to feel very good. Even on a mobile or a tablet. So let's actually repeat that clip where Gibraltar slides down that little ramp. So guys, as Will Smith just said, it looks smooth. But remember, if you have played a game on a, on a controller, it is quite stiff, right? So I've noticed since when I came onto mobile gaming, touch screen, right, you've got more control over the movement like keyboard and mouse. So it is going to be even smoother for us to be able to control players. I don't know how many fingers you guys might play, but I play, you know, either four or six, and I've got no problem with that. So movement is not going to be an issue. Just, it's practice makes perfect, and I, I really can't wait to test this one out. But, uh, Me too. You know, apart from that, shall we roll the, uh, the last clip here? Let's go. Here we go. And then my personal favorite is Lifeline. Um, Lifeline has an AOE healing drone. Um, so just really easy to heal you and your teammates. You know, she has the ability to call down a care package that is basically just this drop pod that comes from the sky and it has three doors that open up and give you free loot. And a lot of times it's, it's better armor or it's something, you know, like health or, or shield. Um, and so, you know, Lifeline's a really good legend for team play. You can bring in these supplies for your teammates, but also selfishly, if you're just wanting more loot, you can drop in the care package and just take it. Yeah, I like how all the different... So guys, look at that clip. I mean, I just want to talk about how crisp the abilities look. That was Lifeline, and she was sort of calling down her airdrop in that. Um, I, it's going to look... I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see what it looks like on sort of low graphics and high graphics, because obviously that's going to be an option in the mobile version, mm. which I'll talk about in a later video. But as you can see, just from her sort of pulling down her ultimate airdrop, that looks very smooth. Even the landing and the sort of the smoke coming out, that's what you're going to expect to see on the mobile device as well. So in the original video from Nintendo they did talk about performance and they said it runs very smoothly but like like Rose just met Rose Smith just said there the graphics we don't know what graphics setting they're running at but I don't think you can change the graphics settings that much on a Nintendo but that to me looks like a medium I would say medium when you especially if it was for a trailer purpose yeah. they want to make that game look as smooth as possible for trailer purposes you know and marketing so I'm going to say they've probably gone medium, so it looks high graphics, but it also has high performance. Again, back to what we said earlier, the processors and the graphics chips, you know, mobile has got such a big advantage over the Nintendo Switch. So I am, man, I, I don't even need to tell you anything. You can see by my face how excited I'm getting talking about this. It's right. going to be crazy. And we're going to find out that in the soft release, which should be coming in a few months, guys. But we'll get on to the next clip. We've got a little bonus clip for you. Mm -hmm. where We're going to be talking a bit about weapons. So let's roll it. Let's roll the clip, baby. Let's do it. Zambique's a great weapon, but 
But uh, yeah, there's a lot of weapons in the game, and so which weapon you choose, I think, comes down to largely preference. The, the guns are actually very well balanced. So I wouldn't worry too much about what gun. I would say find your find the style that you like. I'll say that the priorities should really be around getting armor. That's that's the, easily the most important part of being successful in the game is getting your armor. Um, and so you can actually pick up any of the tiers of armor, um, white, blue, or purple. You can also evolve the armor. So if you have white armor and you do a couple hundred damage you'll actually evolve your armor from white to blue, and then you can again evolve it from blue to purple. And so um, engaging in combat is a good way to level up your gear if you're not finding it. And then we also have these crafting stations called replicators. And throughout the match, you'll find crafting resources, and you can just go to one of these replicators and upgrade your armor there, which is a great way to get purple uh, armor. Now, come on, if that didn't excite you, what is gonna excite you? That, the, the, back again, the graphics, the performance, like the optimization, the weapons, we get to see what the weapons look like. Ah, uh, how do you feel, Smithy? Like, come on, give me your honest opinion here, brother. <laughs> I mean, I just want to say that I'd, uh, I'm I'm creaming right now. It's crazy, honestly, literally. The, the first little clip, as you can see, a lot of you guys have been asking what the hell those sort of capsule things are. They're actually weapon capsules, and mm. the mobile graphics on those looks very sort of intense. And, and they, yeah, as you said in the last clip, Imo, the, uh, they, they do sort of look medium graphics, so expect on the higher resolution for those to look a lot better. Um, going into the next sort of clips, you've got all the weapons and the attachments as well. Again, they, they look amazing for sort of mobile weapons and attachments. And I just want to say, uh, Obviously, the, the, the Mozambique is, is the best gun in the game, um, period. Uh, just uh, comment down below, guys, actually, what your favorite weapon is. But what do you, what do you think about that, buddy? Uh, well, if you hit your shots, you know, unlike you, Smithy, uh, then it would be the good gun. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> all right, I think we might have to edit this one out. Let's wrap it up. Let's go back to the next scene. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about in that clip, guys, is the crafting capsules as well. So those crafting capsules, you can mm. actually craft different weapons in the game and you can go around and collect sort of crafting resources as well to do so. But just look at the, the little animation just yeah, there of him doing that. I was going to say that. And it's yeah. amazing. What, what, yeah, what do you think, bro? The, the animations look spot on. Like, I, as some of you guys know, I'm currently in the development of my own game and I know how animations work. They have done this spot on. EA, Tencent... Uh, respawn you know i will give you credit i know you guys like to take money <laughs> but that i know you got a bad name for that but you've, you've got some brownie points on on your animations and your graphics i'm excited but guys to close this video up we just want to say the switch version is being released on the 10th of march is it the 10th the 9th the 9th today oh. So technically today when we're recording this, but you guys are going to see this a day or two days later. Um, what about the playtesting then? When do you expect the playtesting to, you know, because the playtesting finished on the 5th uh, for the US Correct. and Canada. Yeah. So from the, as you guys know from our previous videos, the playtest went from the 3rd to the 5th. So what we're predicting now is that the uh, developers at Respawn will, will take all of the information and data they got from those playtesters away. And you can probably expect the soft launch to come before the end of April that soon. I mean, it's going to take them a couple of months just to sort of, again, go over all of that data, fix any bugs, iron out any kinks um, in the sort of game. But the game is fully developed, guys. It's ready to go. We're just going to wait for the soft launch now, which, again, I predict is going to come before April. And even the global launch, guys, could come sooner than we think. Typically, soft launches last sort of three to four to five months. So the global launch could even come by sort of October this year, but we're going to have to wait and find out. My prediction, right, I reckon we're going to get global by the end of the year. That's, that's my prediction. If they if they did yeah. play testing, uh, literally a couple of days ago, that means they have a functional game, right? So guys, I, I'm aware I've got experience when it comes to this development. Okay, all they did was exactly what Roll Smith said. They're looking to iron out bugs. They're testing their networking. Okay, they're testing everything when it comes to the code inside of things to make sure nothing interferes and in lines with each other. It does not, as soon as they get the results, it does not take them that long to, to reprogram a couple of things and make a soft launch. I'm going to say, right, and this is my opinion, before June, before the end of June, I reckon we're going to get a soft launch. And then before global, June. Before June. Wow. 
before the end of June, and then a, a full global buy before the end of this year. That's my prediction. So there we go. So what is that again? We'll have to wait and see, guys. But we're all super excited. And again, me and Imo are always going to keep you guys up to date with anything related to Apex Legends Mobile. So we're going to be making a lot more videos together. I know this sort of uh, Road to Apex video came out a bit sooner than you guys expected, but expect a lot more content. Mm -hmm. The next video is going to be about the the weapons and what the, we're going to go over every detail about weapons and everything. So don't forget to hit a like and subscribe. And uh, we hope you guys have enjoyed the video. <laughs> Before I let you guys go off, I just want to say a massive thank you for supporting my channel and Will Smith's channel, and especially this new series that we've just started. The last video got a lot of positivity. So can we smash, um, I'm going to say this, can we smash 400 likes on both of these videos on both of our channels? You can you can find each of our channels in the link in the description down below, but, but you know, it doesn't matter what channel you're watching it on, you'll find one of us uh, in the link in the description below. Make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and we'll see you again in the next one. Take care, guys. Take care, guys. Peace. Peace.